Hey guys, just a quick video on a new, I don't know even know what to call it, electrical conductivity trick? I don't know. Basically, what I have here is a Morse code paddle, 3D printed, and one of the things that I needed to do for the left and right paddle was to attach the leads for the left and right paddle to the screws that make contact with the center screw, which is not in the picture because it's attached to the case. But if you can imagine the left paddle, the right paddle, that screw makes contact with a center screw. When you work the paddle, completes the circuit, dits and does, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so how do you get conductivity to your screws here from those leads. Sounds simple, but when you're dealing with plastic and stainless steel, maybe not. There's a lot of different approaches. Some people take nuts and uh, just clamp down a uh, ring terminal or some other kind of terminal. And that sort of works. I guess you could try and solder a wire directly to the screw, but that creates all kind of problems. And the existing approaches seemed a little bit clumsy to me. So what I did, and maybe you don't want to do this on this project, but maybe some other, is I have these brass inserts that you can see. And these are typically used for 3D printing. And normally this brass insert gets melted into plastic so instead of having a screw that sort of self taps itself into the plastic, you can melt these brass inserts into the plastic and then the plastic will harden. The brass insert isn't going anywhere. They're quite strong once they're in place actually. And um, then you can screw directly into that. I think woodworkers use these as well. If you, um, you know, you can mount this into wood the brass insert and then um, you know use your screw that way well these brass inserts that I have are very small let me see if I can get a view from above yeah and but they have a thin ridge down the middle or I should say a valley I guess down the middle so what I was able to do was wrap wire thin wire around that ridge and the wire and the brass, they both take solder pretty well. So, bada bing, able to uh, solder that wire onto the brass. Nice, solid connection. And the screw turns very smoothly within the brass fitting. Still makes conductivity. And that way it can make all kinds of adjustments as in, you know, tweaking the, uh, what do they call it, the travel distance of the paddle. I, I can turn this screw all I want and uh, the brass fitting actually won't turn with it so it won't put any strain or cause any tangles on the wires anyways maybe not for this project but if you're ever wondering oh, I'd like to somehow get connectivity to a screw without soldering to the screw or without dealing with nuts and clamping ring connectors and all kinds of stuff uh, check out these brass inserts and if you're a 3d printer like me you probably have some around all right, 73s.